ridiculous. <laughs> people thought that was a joke uh me fainting on my set no that was not a joke you know i don't want to fall i'm a tall woman and um it's it's a long way down i'm also a woman of a particular age and i'm not trying to break anything and i don't and also i don't do stunts and jokes for you like that i i don't need that um we were 48 minutes into our show and um uh, i was being briefed by one of my producers as to what we're doing next, you know, after the commercial break. And I felt it as she was talking to me. All I heard was blah, 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 blah. And all I'm thinking is, Wendy, oh my gosh. And the stage, the crew brought out the, you know, the clear, the plexiglass podium that you saw, which we were about to do our, um, you know, our Halloween costume contest. So I'm um, on this, I'm like, well, when, and meanwhile she's talking, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, Wendy, well, at least you're wearing flats and you're holding on to this. And there's only 12 more minutes of the show. You can do it, girl. And I'm feeling like a ways, how hot and like something's about to happen. Hot and a little dizzy, but not like the room spinning, just like weird. So we come back from the break. I heard nothing that she said, <laughs> you know. Um, I immediately, you know, go to the teleprompter, about to do the game. And that's when you saw me with the eyes. Because I, it was, a, it was, sca it, it was scary. It was really scary, and, um, yeah, Brendan, I'll take it. Brendan, you know what? It was so scary. All I could think of, though, in the middle of the scare was don't pull the podium over on you because that'll, that'll make for worse. And the other thing, people commented online, they were like, I think she's having a stroke or she had a stroke or a heart attack. No, I had neither. And people were commenting that I reached up, you know, for my head. And that was because I promised myself two things. First of all, this is never going to happen again. Second of all, if it's going to go down, it's got to be as cute as I can make it. <laughs> so I'm going down with the crown. <laughs> no, this is what's going in my mind. I'm going down with the crown and not pulling this plexiglass podium, you know, to break my bones. So they told me that I went down on my booty first. So I didn't, I didn't go clunk like a door. I went booty first, rolled onto my back, then boom, on my head. I have no headache, no lump on my head. At 53 years old, no aching in my body. I'm shocked. I am shocked. The paramedics come. Oh, it's chaos behind the scenes. The co-hosts are, you know, uh, like, ah, you know, um, there's pandemonium on the floor. I'm on the floor, but I was told I was only down for three seconds. Everybody's telling, you know, when I open my eyes, Wendy, don't move, but I'm trying to get up. And the next thing I know, my husband comes out and, you know, collects me and brings me backstage. Because he knows what I want to do, and that is hurry up, giddy up, because I want to come back out here and close out the show like the champ I am. I do. And, and maybe that's my fault for pushing myself too hard, but I have a very, very hard work ethic. So then after all that chaos on the floor, and first thing I see when I walk backstage is, stage is Jerry O'Connell in tidy whities <laughs> I love him so much. And he's like, is there anything I can do to help? There's chaos backstage, there's chaos on the floor, the audience is pandemonium because it was a real situation. Suzanne, have you ever experienced that? I have never experienced that. And I was terrified for you. And I'm glad you're so much better. And you're but really you know, okay. people have passed out and, and fainted and stuff on live TV before Al Roker. Uh, yeah, yes, it has happened. I've never been there to witness it. Yeah. It really terrified me. They probably just go home for the day. They don't get up they, and they don't. continue. No, I, I was shocked when you came back out here. I said, what the heck is going on? But you did it and you were great. And I'm just glad you're better today. Thank you. So then, um, and people really were scared. Oh, Morel, my makeup artist, I heard, was crying like a girl backstage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so after the show goes off, the paramedics are here. Well, here's a whole other layer of stuff. So the paramedics are in my office, and they hook me up to every EKG situation. Like, I, there's a real situation going on back there. Um, I was low on... Um, uh, hydrogen or, you know, the, uh, water, but not just any water electrolytes. So they filled me with electrolytes. Um, 
mixed with regular water, you know, concoction, a lot of talk about health and everything. My blood pressure was fine. My heart rate was fine. Um, everything was fine. You know, I just got, I'm a 53 year old middle-aged woman going through what middle-aged women go through. If you know what I mean, the costume got hot all of a sudden, right before passing out, I felt like I was in the middle of a campfire all of a sudden from up here, to up here, up here, even sweat on top of my lip. And I never sweat on top of my lip. And then boom. So, you know, they checked me out. I checked out. We left to go back to Jersey. Um, Dougley is standing around. I'm hearing through his, he's talking in his wrist, you know, and, and I'm hearing, um, you know, a lot of paparazzi are outside and stuff. I'm like, oh, oh, wait, I'm on their side. <laughs> hot topics, hot topics. I'm on your side. <laughs> so, but the news outlets were outside, and and also the Wendy watchers, my my co-hosts who had just you know been released from the audience area, they waited outside too. So there was, was like there were like 200 people standing outside. And it was a little overwhelming because I like to be on this side of um, Hot Topics, not that side. So we get in the car and I put the window down just to, you know, give them a wave because you have, they have a job to do too. You know, give people what they need. Just put down, wave, I'm fine. We went back to Jersey. Then the driver goes, um, we're being followed by four vehicles. <laughs> like what? The Leonardo DiCaprio was going on? <laughs> What, it's it's all overwhelming already because staff treated you. You all treated me like Diana Ross. You do realize that, right? I had no idea that when a talk show host passes out, like like the red carpet gets rolled out. Anyway, so then there's four paparazzi, and then my husband's like, you know, uh, shake them, and I'm like, no, but don't run lights. You know, this is not Jennifer Lopez and Puffy from back in the day. Don't run lights. And I said, I know what they're not going to do. If they really want the shot, they're not coming to Jersey. And sure enough, when we passed the mouth, of, or going through the mouth of the Lincoln Tunnel, all four cars left. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, here in, in Jersey, they stayed in Manhattan. So that's why it's good to live in Jersey. <laughs> but in conclusion, I want to thank you all for your tweets and your flowers and my my colleagues, you know, in this in this game on TV. I got all of your well wishes and the people who covered it and and you on social media who commented and even the haters because you motivate me. You know what I mean? No, it was, no, I wasn't stroking out. And for people who thought that I was trying to get this purple chair next. Nope, I'm here for a long time. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Um, Jen